I was just wondering, what happens if you get like all the way over the edge? You yeah. fall? Okay, well, it was nice yeah, knowing all you guys. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
buddy to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to do stuff. Not sure what we're going to do. We're going to do something, though. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am very, very pleased with my new S-Class fighter. That thing is amazing. And man, oh man, the Infra Knife. The Infra Knife Accelerator. Where, where have you been all my life? Man, that weapon is awesome. Um, so, yeah. You, uh, as I showed in the uh, montage there at the beginning, uh, we are now an infra knife dude uh, with a secondary phase beam weapon. I was very uh, pleased with the phase beam weapon too, because um, uh, not because it does a lot of damage, uh, but because it replenishes my shields. Man, uh, that entire fight that I did with the Sentinels, I didn't have to char recharge my shields once, and you know, with the normal method using these things. Uh, I was able to manage it entirely with the phase beam. So I am very impressed and very pleased with the performance of this ship with these particular weapons. Um, so yeah, these are the stats of the ship as it currently is. And I, I, I showed you how, how well it is. It's so much better than the, the flying bathtub that we, you know, that we've had. Uh, okay. So there's a few, a few things that I, I want to do. Uh, one is we need to get um, uh, this taken care of. In fact, let's, um, wait, didn't I already do that though? Yeah, we've already installed that, um, but we need to get three wiring looms to finish that. Um, and then I want to jump into a red star system and get the materials we need to make the indium drive or the emerald drive, whatever the second one is, and then go to that system to get the stuff we need to make the you know, the, the S-Class uh, warp drive. So that's one of the things on the list. Uh, I am completely out of space in this container here and getting pretty full here. So we have one of two options here. We could either, um, actually I want to grab that too. Uh, we could either put in a, the number two storage container on the freighter and if we do that I think then we also have it um, down well we can make it down here without having to purchase you know spend another 10 salvage data on you know on the blueprint for it after the anomaly the thing is though is I'd have to make the two one and I'm still I, I, I'm still trying to figure something out. Let's let's hop up to um, our uh, freighter for a second. So I'm still kind of trying to figure out how how to build here. Now, I mean, I know how to do it, but it's it's different than it used to be. So, for example, if I try and build, we were talking about the storage units. Where are those at? Uh, here. No. Yeah, storage room. Okay, so we would need to build the third one in order to not have to purchase the blueprint for it at the anomaly if I understand things correctly but I can't build anything out here the only place in fact that I can build this is right whoop is right here so is it a situation of I put the first thing down and then after I do that um then it it starts unlocking other areas or is it a situation where what I have to first do is uh, take these things and build an enclosure out here because it does let me it does seem to let me do that see like I could put that right there I don't have the um, oh target areas outside of build limits no it, it doesn't let me do that so I'm, I'm just a little bit confused about how this is all supposed to work head door so maybe maybe it's a situation where I 
I build the first thing here and then it starts to open up to where I can put more things in. Because, you know, this is going outside, right? And it's not letting us build stuff outside. So maybe what we do... You know what I think it is now that, it, now that I'm looking at this? Maybe what we do is we, we build this first room here and then as soon as we get past these rails, then we can start branching out. I'll bet you that's what that is. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's just a little bit different than it used to be because it used to be you'd walk into this pretty much big space and then you could just start building. Um, and so this has definitely changed. Um, okay, so what we're going to do then is why don't we go ahead and make that number three. Now, I'm assuming once I do make it, I can move it later. I certainly hope so, because this is definitely not the place I would want it to, to stay. Uh, so we need storage room two. And in order to do this, I need 20 sodium. I've got the silver, but I don't have the sodium. Um, do I have any... I don't have any sodium on me at all. Okay, so let's head back down to our base. We, we can teleport to the ship, but we can't teleport from it until we make the teleport room. And we'll grab uh, some sodium, then come back up here and make that, and then if I'm correct about that, we shouldn't have to spend 10 salvage data. Not that 10 salvage data is that big of a deal, but, you know. Oh man, I love this ship, you guys. <laughs> it's just so awesome. And I love the infra knife. This, this is the first time I've used it. I don't remember having the infra knife uh, or, or using it last time I played in the Beyond update. I'm, it probably was around, but I just don't remember it. Okay, so I'm going to grab some sodium, then I'll meet you guys back up on the ship. All right, guys, we are back up here, and we should have everything we need to make this first storage room. So there it goes. Okay, so um, yeah, yep, that that did come out. Okay. So my guess is we just keep building out that way, and then we can start expanding over uh, to the sides when the time comes. Can we get down here? We can walk around down here. Oh, this is nuts. What happens if we um, go down here? What? Uh, I didn't know you could do this. Are we going to be able to get back? Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're going to die. <laughs> um... Okay, so... This is not a exactly a good situation to be in. Life My life support's like going down like seriously faster. Life support I was just wondering, what happens if you get like all the way over the edge? You life fall? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was nice life knowing all you guys. <laughs> We're being... Pulled down into the gravity of the planet. I didn't think it would let us do that. Um, okay. Life support offline. We're almost to the clouds. It let us. It let it let us recharge it, but it says it's offline. Life support power low. Salvage generator critically damaged by life support system failure. Technology recharge. Uh. 
Well, we're entering the atmosphere now. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Why does it keep doing that? This is crazy. Oh, look. My shield came back online because now I'm in the atmosphere. Wow, I cannot believe we survived that. <laughs> well, we we, ha we're, we haven't necessarily survived it yet. Are we going to land in the water? I can't turn my camera. Oh, I can turn it that way. I think we're going to land in the water. Jetpack still works, though. No, we're not going to land in the water. Unbelievable, you guys. I can't believe... I absolutely can't believe we survived that. What's up with that tree? Oh, my word. I think... I think the big man upstairs is watching out for us. <laughs> wow. I... It was... It was... Curiosity killed the old guy kind of scenario. I just I didn't think it would let me let me do that. So I just kept going. There's our base over there. Wow. Okay, all I can say is wow. And uh let's go learn a new word because that's what you do after you jump off a spaceship and fall to a planet surface and survive. Is you learn the Corvax word for more. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so <laughs> I don't, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Um, let's call our ship here. I figured there'd be like an invisible border, you know, on the, on the freighter and not let us get beyond, you know, a certain point. But, yeah, we basically jumped off the whole entire thing. loud. Woo. Okay. That was one hell of a sidetrack. <laughs> man, oh man. Um, Alright, so let's go into here. And we now have this storage container. Um... Can we also, I, I think we have to, yeah, we have to go out one more before we can start going to the side. And I'm assuming, I, like, you know, like with any other building item, I can move this, right? Uh, delete, toggle, move. Players inside. Okay, yeah, so I can move it. It's just that I can't move it right at the moment until we put something else in there, but that's fine. I just wanted to confirm that I could move it. Okay. So, um, can we make zero and one as well? Uh, wait a second. No, we got to be back in normal mode. Okay, so now if we go here and make one. Okay, and then we should be able to start building off to the side that way. Do we have enough materials to make zero? Yes, we do. Okay, so this is this is temporary. 
Yep. Okay, cool. So we can get we can get to everything and now we can simply access stuff, you know, from you know, on the freighter or off the freighter. I wonder though if I should have Okay, here's another science experiment here. And no, we're not going to jump off the ship again. Let's go to here. Cannot. No, I don't want to delete it. I want to move it. Can we move it over to. So we should be able to just put something else there, or we even just put another bulkhead there. So fleet command room, galactic trade room. We have everything there, and we have everything here. Oh, probably because it's now in our inventory, a refiner room. This is really trippy. We could just put a corridor. What's that require? Just silver and tritium? Um, cultivation chamber. Refiner room. Why is there... Oh. Yeah, let's put the refiner room there. And then we can get through to here. Now this is not necessarily at all going to be our permanent arrangement. It's just to get us started. And the main the main thing here is we now have well we've done we've done a couple of things. We've linked up our storage from both our base and our freighter, but we've also unlocked the bru the blueprint and didn't have to pay salvage data for it, which is pretty cool. And I suppose if we would have done this earlier, we could have probably done done it with the large refiner too, but it's okay. Not a big deal. How does that have copper in it? Oh, is this linked up with the one down below also? It must be. Interesting. Let's try something. Let's go back down to the base. We could just jump off the edge of the ship again. <laughs> no, we're not doing that again. We are not doing that again. Where's my ship? Here we go. All right, let's go back down to the base. These aren't linked up. Well, how in the dickens did that large refiner get chromatic metal and copper inside of it? Okay, but check this out. We now should be able to build... Oh, no, we still can't build three down here. Base salvage capsule. What does that do? Autonomous storage device. This optional piece of base technology stores and preserves matter left over after the destruction of a previous base. Huh. Interesting. 
So, okay, so it didn't unlock the base version of this. They must have changed that because I, I, I think it used to do that, didn't it? Or am I just completely off my rocker? Maybe I hit my head when I, you know, jumped off the freighter and fell down through the atmosphere. Um, okay. Well, then what that means is we are going to have to actually buy um, those extra storages. And we, I might just bite the bullet and buy all of them, or as, as many as we can, because I can always get more salvage data. We really only need... I, well, no, I think for now I'm just going to get the third one, so that way at least we're matching, you know, what's on the freighter, and then we'll just expand as we go along. That is so weird, though, that... that we have chromatic metal and copper in the the base freighter okay well let's go back up to the freighter again now we're gonna have to get um, frigate salvage modules in order to here I want to just check this one last time That is weird, man. Look at that. We basically have... This is free. Does that always happen, or is this just a, a happy accident, like Bob Ross would say? <laughs> um... Okay. I'm kind of glad they're actually not linked, though, just because... I don't know, that just seems kind of weird that they... that the... the, the uh, refiners would be linked. Okay, let's put that stuff back in there for now. Um, all right, what we're going to do is we need to go over to the anomaly. But the cool thing is, is we can put this stuff in here. So we'll just throw the nuggets in there. Um, no, we should crack those open, because the nuggets by themselves don't do us really any good. Put that stuff in there, and then I've got quite a collection of, of modules and upgrades here, so we'll probably start putting those in the third container. Um, and, you know, and maybe, and put, like, planetary charts and things like that. And maybe the racial uh, stuff, you know, like the Viking stuff and the Gek stuff and all that. And then keep putting the higher level uh, resources in this bin. Okay, so let's crack these open. And we'll put those back in here. Okay, so now... It's just almost done. Now we might as well wait for it so we can put it in the storage. That way we can access it down below if we want to. Okay, let's go to the anomaly. Hey, I'm curious about something else. Call the anomaly here. No, looks like I have to be inside of my ship to call the anomaly. We need to get that guy us uh, going on mis missions at some point too. Okay, I'll see you guys over at the Anomaly. What in the heck? I have never seen that before. Okay. Seriously? 
This has just been one bizarre episode, you guys. That's all I got to say. Wow. I don't even know what to think about that. Alright, let's see. We want to go here. Uh, where do we want to go? Here. Alright, and we want to unlock two. Oh, these are only five. Okay. Well, you know what? Since we have to unlock them anyways... Let's, we're going we're gonna to eventually want all of these. So I'm just going to get them all. Okay, it's a done deal. It is a done deal. And we still have 10 salvage data left over. All right, nifty. Uh, okay, so I don't think there's anything else we need to do here. What we're going to do now is let's go back to the base first. Okay, and then what do we need to build? This, uh, this guy. Magnetized ferrite and sodium. We've got plenty of both of those things. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to put modules, well not those, so those I want to keep with me, just ones we're storing. I might eventually end up getting rid of some of those anyways. So I'm going to put modules in there. Let's put that stuff back in there. And we're going to call this, um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. We're going to call this, uh, rare, oops, resources. I'm typing at an angle on my keyboard, so. Okay, so let's move all of the stuff out of here. And again, like I said, at some point, I'm going to probably go through these and get rid of some of them. Let's also grab the star charts. And no, not that. Well, yeah, actually, we could take the key, too, because that's not really a resource. So, yeah, this will be rare resources and crafted items. Okay, so let's move this stuff over. Okay, and we're going to call this... Um, Modules and charts. Very good. All right, we're moving up in the world, ladies and gentlemen. We have increased our storage. Yeah, yes. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I've got some some stuff for us to uh, crack open. Well, let's do that next. An exosuit module. It's just another nanite thingy. OK, 
Okay, that's 12% life support tanks and 29% sprint distance. No, I think I like the three that I currently have. This this one is unbelievably powerful. <laughs> How crazy that is. Um, yeah, I think I like the three that we have. So we will store that in here. That's not a bad one, though. But we'll store it in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Another module. Another module. Okay, that's a scanning upgrade. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's huge. Good Lord. This gives us, um, plus 2,540 fauna. This gives us 10,510 fauna. Oh my word, that, that, that's like a gold mine. Wow, okay. I wonder if, you know what we should do? Is we should put these together so they give each other a bonus and we'll make even more money. Uh, that's 10, 5, 10. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't actually show us in the stats if that's getting a bonus, but I'm assuming that it is. And then we want this guy over here. Okay. Very nice. Okay, what's this? This is a neutron cannon upgrade. Is this for... Our exocraft? Or is it... Oh, I think the neutron cannon is a... Uh, isn't that a handheld module? Here, let's just crack it open. Yeah, that's a that's the handheld thingy. Okay. All right, we'll store that. Um, ion spheres and ion sphere speed. If we ever play around with the neutron cannon at some point, then we may, you, might use it then. Okay. And then finally, I got these doohickeys. Um, oh, not, not that. This is... Okay, so it's... A single-use geometric beacon that probes the surrounding area for near-space anomalies. Such objects are highly unpredictable. Hmm, I wonder if this would find us a derelict freighter, because what I was seeing, then I think I got sidetracked earlier, was we need salvage frigate modules to upgrade the freighter. And one of the places you find those is on derelict freighters, which I've never even come across. Okay, we might have to save those for another episode, uh, but we ought, we definitely want to keep those on the starship, though. Okay, that gets us caught up with all the stuff we had in our inventory. Why is this... Oh, this is damaged. Oh, it got damaged when we fell through the atmosphere, right. Okay, so... Uh, we need a wiring loom and some pugmium. Didn't, didn't we need a wiring loom for something else, too? We have pugmium in here. That's right. I completely forgot that that got damaged when we were falling. Um, oh, yeah. We need wiring looms for this. Okay. So that'll be the next thing on the list. So let's go here. So we need one wiring loom for that and for the starship. Cadmium drive, we need three wiring looms, so we have to buy a total of four. Is there anything else on the exosuit that's busted? No, I think the rest of it's okay. OK, 
Okay, we'll put that there. And um, so yeah, let's go get some wiring looms. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? We we learned the market thingy, didn't we? Magnetite, ferrite, and a micro and microprocessor. I don't know if we'll be able to buy wiring looms from this, but if we can, that'd be great. Um, we're gonna have to add another section in the base if we want to continue expanding the storage that way. So why don't we build this? Oh, I need one more microprocessor. Okay. Carbon nanotube and chromatic metal. I don't think I have any nanotubes built. It's a standalone thing. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought we had to put it like on the wall. Uh, all right. So yeah, let's just put it over here, I guess. Or yeah, maybe right here. Get into free camera mode so I can make sure we're. Setting it down nice and straight and centered-ish. All right, now, can we buy wiring looms from here? Nope, we can't. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured that might be the case. All right, we gotta head up to the to the station here. Starship. There we go. Okay, so we have our cadmium drive online and exosuit. We have repaired this. That is such a powerful module, man. I can't believe how powerful that thing is. Almost makes me wonder if we should slide everything over so we can use the supercharge slot. Thing is, is that's already in a supercharged slot, though. Right? Yeah. I mean, that could still be a good arrangement there, though. Yeah, let's try that for a bit. Alrighty, then. So... I think what is coming up next is I want to do a couple of things. 
we have three more of these charts and we have the means to purchase uh, quite a bit more. I've got over a full stack of of navigation uh, navigation data. And I'd like to, to look for some more ships for two reasons. One, for the money. We're sitting at 7.8 million, when is, you know, which isn't a whole lot, really. But also, when we find those ships, we have the option of or, or the chance of getting expansion modules uh, for either our starship or for our freighter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these and hopefully and, and probably buy some more and just you know keep going after some more starships what I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to do that on camera if I find what I'll probably do is I'll probably record bits and pieces of that and just do another you know montage for you guys but I'm not going to do an episode ever because uh, you know we've already spent a lot of time on that um, and then what I think we'll do in, in the next episode, though, is I think we're going to take advantage of our cadmium drive and we're going to travel to a red star system um, in the next episode and start going out and doing a little bit of exploring. Uh, so that is the plan. All right, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.